Okay, now it's time for the Victorian Blues Music Awards. These awards have been running since 1999 and are judged by a panel of blues mu music industry judges independent of the MBAS committee and are not determined by the MBAS. So we are not responsible for the outcome. The MBAS Victorian Blues Award categories for 2023 are Song of the Year, Album of the Year, Solo Duo of the Year, Band of the Year, and Artist of the Year. Plus, we have the Alan Stafford Industry Award for services to blues music. We give this to non-musicians in recognition of their services to blues music. Alan Stafford was a founder of MBAS and its inaugural president. Alan sadly passed away many, many years ago, but to honour his service and role in founding the MBAS, and his service, a service to Blues Music Award was instigated in his name. This award is not a voted award and it is the only award that is decided by the MBAS committee. The Alan Stafford Award is presented for services by non-musicians to our blues community. As we are only all too aware, our community runs largely on volunteers and passionate entrepreneurs who work tirelessly to grow the blues music pie. That includes radio presenters, people who book gigs, people who run venues, etc., etc., who support the blues in all those many and various ways. Tonight, it gives me great pleasure to announce that the recipient of the MBAS Alan Staffan Industry Award for Services to Blues Music for 2023 is the proprietor of Melbourne's premier blues bar, Hamish Gunatalecki. I hope Hamish, I'm sure I hope I've got your name right. Hamish. And Hamish has tonight generously donated a $200 voucher for a, a prize in the raffle. Yes. yes, so that's that's an inducement to go back and get even more raffle tickets. And thank you very much for that, Hamish. Well, I was just going to say, you may not know Hamish, but you all know his Melbourne CBD-based blues bar success story beneath Driver Lane. Now, Hamish, I'll, I'll let Hamish say a few words in a minute, but tucked away down a, a, a laneway off Little Burke Street, beneath Driver Lane has firmly established itself over six years to become Melbourne's premier best-known secret bar destination for discerning blues audiences and unsuspecting bar patrons, of course. With Hamish at the helm, creating an intimate and inviting character-filled setting to listen to blues music, Beneath Driver Lane has single-handedly raised the bar on blues bars. This venue, under Hamish's guidance, has thrived and survived despite the punishing lockdowns and hospitality industry channel challenges that have closed many other bars. Beneath Driver Lane has not only survived, but actively nurtured a dedicated and growing following, bring, bringing blues music to a wider audience. Hamish is a hands-on, long-standing, dedicated hospitality industry professional whose commitment to establishing a top-rated destination bar and blues venue, despite the odds, is to his credit and vision. We recognise and thank Hamish for being the fierce, friend, or not fiercely, oops, friendly, welcoming face of Beneath Driver Lane and for his dedication to hosting blues music at his prestige Lux Bar venue, running an exclusive blues music program. Congratulations, Hamish. And we Whiskey. Sorry, there we go. Hang on. Uh, thank you very much. This is a totally a, a massive surprise. I had absolutely no idea about this. Um, I, I I grew up with with music, and I was a musician for a long time when I was at school, and so music is in in my veins. And then, you know, when getting into hospitality, uh, music was then a part of. Of the venue, so to create beneath driver lane to have such a strong affiliation with the blues community is an absolute honour. And over the last six years, I've met so many people and some incredible friends, and a lot of you are here tonight. So uh, I'd like to say thank you very much, and you know this uh, this MBA is doing great work as well. And uh, I'm really proud to, to, you know, fly the flag for, for Blues in the City and, uh, you know, live music should always be uh, be part of a city. You know, there's nothing better than live music. It's a, it's a heartbeat. So, uh, no, thank you very much, guys. And uh, this, this is incredible. Appreciate it. Thank you.
Thank you, Hamish, and a thank you again for the $200 voucher as part of the raffles prizes tonight. Now I will introduce back to the stage our MC Barry Maxwell to give out the uh, next round of awards. Please, Barry. Thanks, John. Congratulations, Hamish. Awesome venue it is as well, if you haven't been there, showcasing the best blues in Melbourne and Australia. Okay, let's get to the song of the year. The judging criteria is the song must have been either recorded or mixed or mastered in Victoria. The performing artist must be a Victorian resident. The finalist nominations are Bet Your Bottom Dollar by Lloyd Spiegel. Burning Desire by Rod Payne and the Full Time Lovers. And The Caveman of Yore by Damon Smith. And the winner of the Song of the Year Award is Bet Your Bottom Dollar by Lloyd Spiegel. Unfortunately, COVID has struck again and Lloyd can't be with us tonight, but he has recorded a little message for us, which Rob has, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, hit it, hit it. <laughs> There's a message here somewhere. <laughs> Greetings all. My sincere apologies for not being there tonight. I really wanted to be, but I'm home with a particularly nasty bout of COVID, so I'm a little feverish and possibly delusional, uh, so this could be interesting. I want to start by thanking the MBAS for continuing the tradition of these awards. Uh, it is just so, so important in a music industry that so frequently overlooks the blues. I was uh, reminded of just how important they are on Saturday when I went along to a gig of a young man named Blake. He's 18 years old, he's playing his very first pub gig and he played a bunch of songs that I wrote on a guitar that I designed and I was so thankful to have had a role somehow in his beginning. It reminded me of watching my heroes win Victorian Blues Music Awards when I was small and and desperately wanting to one day be up there accepting that award. It gave me a benchmark to chase and, and a goal and, and a path to follow. One day Blake is going to win his first Victorian Blues Music Award, I'm certain of that, and it'll probably feel just as, as great as winning one myself, um, knowing that I've had a link in that chain. That's why uh, we do these things, that's why we make albums, that's why we help young musicians, and I'm sure that's part of why the MBAS puts these events on. So I'm eternally grateful for that. I share this award with Lisa Baird and Tim Burnham. They put their heart and soul into this album. Uh, it's the first time I've ever really felt like a, I wasn't just the captain steering a ship. It was really a combined effort. So anything that comes from this album, I, I owe to them. Uh, and I'm just so fortunate to get to, to work and play with such incredible musicians and wonderful humans. Um, big thank you to Robert Dillon. He's my right-hand man when it comes to recording albums. Probably never would have recorded one if, if he wasn't around giving me the guidance that he has. I also want to thank Only Blues Music, uh, all the radio stations that have been playing the album, and the people, of course, who have supported the record by buying it and downloading it. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you all fit and healthy soon. Congratulations, Lloyd. Absolutely awesome song. Okay, album of the year. Judging criteria, the album must have been commercially pressed in a run of at least 500 copies or an internet release via a recognised internet distribution channel such as iTunes, Spotify. The album must contain at least 50% previously unreleased material. Albums must be submitted in CD version, only one CD copy required. And the album must have been either recorded or mixed or mastered in Victoria. The performing artist must be a Victorian resident. The finalist nominations are Bakehouse Dozen by Lloyd Spiegel. 470 Northern Highway Blues by John Williams Band. And Dirt on Velvet by Rod Payne and the Full Time Lovers. And the winner of Album of the Year is Bakehouse Dozen by Lloyd Spiegel.
here to present to take the award on behalf of Roy, the man behind it, Rob Dillon. Well, yo. Yes, I have been associated with Lloyd for many, many years. I remember the first time I actually recorded him was in my house. I had one, one chair, a little table, a little pissy kind of recorder and Lloyd in another room just going hell for leather. That was about 12 years ago. So it has been a long association and uh, he's really, really chuffed. I did speak, I speak to him yesterday. So thank you very much. Okay, next up, solo duo of the year. Judging criteria entries are, are judged on submitted material and guidelines as per the album award. The finalist nominations are Lloyd Spiegel and Damon Smith. And the winner of the solo duo award is... Lloyd Spiegel. <laughs> you reading this? Lloyd Spiegel. <laughs> Yo! I just want to get the award actually. Look at the, it's a ripper. Yo, and it's heavy too. Look, yeah, thank you very much. And look, there is a, a thriving blues scene in Melbourne, and it's only a testament to all you people turning up and all the bands that I kind of know, most of them around the place. So go and check it out. And Lloyd, thanks you very much. Bye. Okay, Band of the Year judging criteria. Entries are judges judged on submitted material and guidelines as per the album award. The finalist nominations are Rod Payne and the Full Time Lovers, Paul Buchanan and the Voodoo Preachers, Phil Coyne and the Wayward Aces, And the winner of Band of the Year is... Rod Payne and the Full Time Lovers. For the album, Dirt on Velvet. Well, thank you, everybody involved in determining that uh, I'm a part of a big thing called Rod Payne, the full-time lovers, and we've voted Band of the Year. I've got some uh, gentlemen sitting over the back there, so I just try and look at them because I can't be bothered getting up here. Tony Harwood, Ray Tully, co-tipping, and who's not here tonight, who's been a fabulous, fabulous addition to Who We Are, called Michael Shannon. Um, what can I say? It's, it, it's hugely, um, it's quite remarkable that we are Band of the Year. Um, I've been a part of, I guess, this society, the MBAS, for a long, long time, since I was about 19 years old. And um, Chicago Blues grew into the Redliners, and it grew into Rod Payne and the Full Time Lovers. And it's only the last few years, 30 of which have been with Tony Harwood, about 12 odd have been with co-tipping and outside of everything about 20 years with Ray Tully and about three years with Michael Shannon. But that collective has allowed the band to broaden, find some colour, write some music, put an album out and back ourselves. And that's what we do. And we'll do it again next year with another record and we'll keep playing. Um, so everybody out there, you love your blues, we'll write some music, use those influences, create your own thing, follow your own path. That is an Australian sound. So thank you very much. Congratulations, awesome band. Okay, the last but not least, Artist of the Year. This award is presented to honour the name of the legendary, highly influential, seminal blues performer of the Australian blues music, Dutch Tilders. Dutch also was a motivating force in the establishment of the MBAS and remains the MBAS eternal patron.
The judging criteria, this is given to a solo duo or band performer who has made the greatest artistic contribution to the Victorian blues music scene in the allotted period. The finalist nominations are Lloyd Spiegel, <laughs> Damon Smith, Rod Payne and the Full Time Lovers. And the winner of the Artist of the Year Award is... Lloyd Spiegel! Lloyd Spiegel. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> yeah, well, surprise. I think um, we, we, uh, we go live to Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. I think Lloyd would be, um, he would be definitely looking at this. So, here you go, Lloyd. Uh, thank you very much. What am I going to say? Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, that wraps up the MBAS 2023 Victorian Blues Music Awards for the night. Congratulations to all the winners, finalists and winning artists for such a high standard of entries. This is a true indication of the relevance and impact of local blues recordings, whether online or in person at gigs. Keep buying the music to support, promote and encourage the great blues talent in this state.